everybody, Dr. Freeman here. I just wanted to um, send out some um, information uh, to kind of recap things that have happened at the uh, during week one and week two. First off, I wanted to let everybody know I really, really enjoyed the uh, portrait videos that you guys created. I loved all the artwork, um, the great uh, feedback, and um, people talking about how it felt. And I think one of the points of that particular assignment that I want you to take away from, from that assignment is to think about how you felt while you were creating the art. Think about how students are developmentally, um, maybe in the younger grade levels, uh, they are more carefree about what they're doing creatively, but as, as kids tend to get older, they tend to maybe feel more anxious like a lot of you did about doing um, art and so kind of think how you as a teacher would handle that type of situation and try to provide um, you know a, a comfortable environment for students to take chances in an artistic way um, so anyway I really like those videos um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about very quickly are the discussion questions um, it's a it's a as I've pointed out before it's a small grade every week but the accumulation of all the points for the discussion questions is quite large by the end of the semester. And so I really want to make it clear to students that one, uh, about how to get the maximum amount of points for those particular discussion questions. So generally speaking, when you're doing um, the initial post, um, try to make an effort to incorporate anything that you've learned in the class throughout you know, weeks one all the way to whatever week we're in. Try to incorporate that into your um, into your initial post, and also into your follow up post. And I think where students tend to struggle is the follow up post. Um, make sure that you're turning those follow up posts on time, uh, and, and the initial post on time. Usually, it's by Wednesday at midnight. And again, that is the purpose of that is to give people enough time to be able to look at your post and then respond and interact. And then with the follow-up posts, it's really important that you are trying to engage other students. You're trying to continue the discussion. And the way that you can do that is by asking questions, um, perhaps adding some additional information that you might know or have researched about the topic. One of the things that I used to do when I had to do discussion questions in an on online uh, format would be to go to the online database at Ventura College, look up an article, and you know read through that article a little bit and then see how I can incorporate that into my discussion. And then you can cite that, that resource. So that's kind of what I'm looking for with the discussions. I think in general people did a pretty good job with the initial posts. Um, during week one, but I think the follow-up questions really need to needed to engage um, the other students a little bit more. So think about asking a question, adding some additional information, and in general trying to engage the other students and continue the discussion to go a little bit longer past maybe one or two posts. Okay, um, as always, if you have any questions or you need to contact me, please send me an email in our class canvas um, email um, account, not in the Outlook account. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye.